Hi everyone, today in this video, let's create an app and the idea is worth a billion dollars. So I'll be trying to create an app that is going to serve the functionalities of Grammarly. You might have already heard about Grammarly, you have already used it. So Grammarly is an app that lets us fix the grammars and typos in our text. So you can use it as an extension or an application in your desktop or your phone where it suggests the better grammar and better typos and rephrase the sentences. So the idea is to create a Chrome extension similar to that of Grammarly, where it will check the text for grammar, for typos and an option to rephrase a sentence to a better one. We will be using an LLM in the backend and I'll be using cursor and let's try to create this app. Now we'll be creating something similar to that of Grammarly where it can detect the text fields and fetch the text from the text fields and give us suggestions about how can we improve the grammar or if there is a typo find the typo and fix it for us and if we can rephrase the particular sentence and if there is a better way to rephrase that particular sentence this should help us do it so in the background we will be using our llms like openai deepseek or whatever it is we would be able to create a template add these api keys and just use it so this is the basic idea. So let's see if we can create that with AI. So I'll be using cursor to finish this job and this is going to be a Chrome extension. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. So here we have cursor. So first we need a detailed prompt to get this thing done. So I'll be using ChatGPT to create the prompt. So how I do is I have a bunch of text in my human natural language that I've added here and I asked ChatGPT to give me a better form so that I can give this particular prompt to my AA ID. ChatGPT has tweaked my prompt into something that is more readable where an AI ID can understand it better. So I have it right here. Now all I have to do is copy and go to cursor then paste it. Now let's go through this particular prompt. First one is LLM choice and templates. So what I want is to create templates with the LLM that I choose and I'll add my API keys right there. So if I have multiple API keys with multiple LLMs, I should be able to create a template for OpenAI Cloud or whatever it is. And in future, I should be able to choose one among from these templates that I create. So we, we need an option to create a template, right? Then we need a test app. So the test app is where we test if the actual connection is working. Once you give your API keys and you choose your LLM provider, then you don't know if it's working until you go to your web page to try to load something up. Until then, you don't know if it's working. So in this tab, you, you just have to click on this test and it will give you a response if it is working or not. So you can understand if if there is any error with your API keys or then points where you can sort things by yourself. Now it is inline error detection. So I want this inline error detection where you type it in the text field. So if there is an error for a particular word, maybe a typo or a grammar mistake, or if the sentence can be rephrased in a better way. So it will give an underline with different colors. And when hovering over that words or sentence, it should show a tooltip or a pop-up showing us the best words or rephrasing can that can be used yeah we have that right here Ho hover tooltip then floating action button so at the bottom right of the active touch field there will be a floating button where you can click on it for the suggestions and explanations things like that so we have two modes of operation one is automatic where it applies suggestions automatically as you type and the other one is on demand, which means it is not going to give you suggestion as you type. Once you finish up all your writing work, you can just click on the floating button and ask to check if there is any errors in that particular paragraph or words. Now, at only at that point of time, the app is going to send out data to the LLM and get the response, which means you can save a lot of API hits with this. Then we have an analytics tab where it tracks the amount of API calls that we've made and it also tells us how many words that it corrected, whether it's typo, grammar or rephrase, whatever it is. 
then we have here the ui ux requirements so i want it to be in blue light blue and white palette futuristic sleek minimal clutter and all those things that's right here and we have a settings tab so in that settings tab we have template management where we can create edit and delete per site exclusions and api rate limit so if you wanted to exclude some of the sites that you visit you can just add that site right there and it is not going to give you recommendation in that particular site then toggle underline colors where you can choose what color for the toggle underline inline that's that you want then theme customization default futuristic blue all right good these are the details that we added in the prompt now let's head back to cursor so i'll be using cloud for sonnet for this particular app building so let's see how well it is going to come out now all i have to do is send so we have 10 to do's so cursor started creating the manifest.json file now let it create let's wait for to build the whole application well the project is not complete now let's go ahead and test this extension and let's see if there is any more work is needed now let's test the application so go to this chrome extensions tab and click on this developer mode now you will have the option to load unpacked now click on this load unpacked and choose the folder where you have saved your files okay, i have my folder right here so i have named the folder as grammar pro now let's see if there is any issues or if it is going to get loaded correctly <laughs> moment of truth click on select extension loaded okay we can see some errors right here service worker registration failed status code 15 untype uncaught type error okay let's see if it is going to pop up all right the pop-up is working the test analytics short visitor. wow the ui is really amazing so it's really great the ui is really great so you have the option to add templates but that's not working okay the clicks are not working and test is select a template okay we haven't created any template so far now setup required okay we have an option right here and it it blinks great in the settings you have automatic on demand all right then you can choose the colors right here okay okay you have this rate limiting you can rate limit your api calls right here so it is 10 right here exclusion so the site exclusion is right here so which means pretty much all the features that we asked to implement is done now let's fix this particular error okay now service let's copy this one i've copied this and go to i'm getting the below error and i paste the stack trees that i've got from there all right now it seems like all issues are fixed let's test it again okay let me go to my chrome and let's clear all and reload okay okay the add template is working let me quickly keep my open ai now let me go to test and run this test okay test which means the test is success which means they are working okay we have this usage analytics tab where we can see that the api call that has made currently it is one and yeah settings okay currently it is an automatic so let's match call per minute Let's make it 100 save settings okay now we have some errors here what's that okay we'll we'll see if this is affecting the functionalities now let me go to my mail and i'll just type okay so it is detecting the touch fields and we have the no suggestions found okay we have it okay what's that we have so we have some kind of bug okay now now it's fine all right now let me type hi i will 
come tomorrow so that's the ideal way to write so i'll i'll make a mistake i will came to more and there are spelling is just spelling as well let's see if it can found no suggestions found which means there are some issues so there are a few other issues as of now let me clear this all and let's try again no suggestions found okay now let's copy these errors we are not going to take all these just why i'm giving both of this is because for one the error is from line number 490 and other is from 495 then we have one more let's see where where it is okay 293 minus yes, or uh, getting the below error while typing in the text box then in ui no suggestions found and in extension error then have added all those stack trace errors that we have right there yeah so it is able to find what it's, what the issue is so it is saying from 490 to 495 when trying to access dom elements that don't exist okay fine so it seems like it understood what the issue is let's wait and see how it is getting fixed and let's test it again so it has made some changes for this gmail integrations okay oh, robust error handling gmail compatibility and memory safety on the test validations then better test handling all right let's test still no suggestions found so there are no errors as of now but now the actual functionality of the app is not working now i'll have to debug it again and see let's wait for some time and let's let me fix it after spending some time with cursor and trying to debug what exactly the issue was and after prompting multiple times we were able to make the app working and the extension is now working the application is working as expected as of now and i also changed the ui a little bit with some lighter colors and removed few icons and the icon that earlier we had was some kind of stars that is removed and i made it to a g so g stands for grammar so that would be a better representation comparing to the previous one that we had now let me show you the extension now let's load it again so we have our extension right here so you can see this is the new logo uh, blue gradient to white and a g so uh, let me show you that right here so this is a new ui so which got little lighter we also have an option for high contrast blue dark light whatever now let's use this futuristic blue so now this is little more darker and the other tabs and features are pretty much the same the option to create template right here then we have the test option we can choose the template right here earlier we had a test right here now we can add our own test and run the test then we have the analytics right here and our option to reset the analytics and the settings right here and now i have added a new feature where you can select a test and click on right click and then you can ask the application to just rephrase the whole sentences which is also working all right now let's create a template template name And after adding API key, click on this save template. Now it's done. Now let's test here. 
all right so we are getting a response go back to this gmail type section so now let's start from here typing something uh, this is a All right, now we have a typo right here and this is test. So it is giving us the correct test right here. So click on this and it is changed. So this is the new feature that I added where you can right click and click on this rephrase with grammar. Click on this. So it will give you an updated suggested rephrased test. So how are you doing? Click on play so that's added right here so which means that's again working again we have one more options right here for setting this to on demand which means it is not going to keep on hitting the apis every time it only checks one once you ask it to so let's add that and let me refresh this now we have it here so it says the current mod is on demand and you have to click on this check text and now we can check this analytics where it it is giving us the usage right here two api calls and two typos all these things are getting saved right here cool these are few sentences that i've added just now just to test these things so this sentences has few typos and few grammatical errors so now in this uh, suggestions, you can see all those errors for typos, it is on yellow and for grammar mistakes, it is on red and for rephrase, it's kind of orange that there are a few sentences that we can rephrase and you can see it right, right here. So if you want to apply, just like, just click on this apply button. And if you don't want to apply, just click on this dismiss and that's it settings you can see the colors that we have choosed for these things so if you change this to typo color to black grammar color to this dark red or brown and for rephrase let's add to green now let's refresh and let's see how is it going to come all right now you can see for the typo the color has changed now it is showing us the black one and for grammar it's showing the color that we choose the dark brown or dark red and for rephrase we have this green cool well that's how i created this billion dollar grammarly idea using cursor so which took me like two three hours to create this app and that's really great and the functions are really working and the UI is really great. So what do you think about this app? Let me know in the comment section. Till then, this is Castro Joseph signing off. Bye.